Caitlin Clark's supporters swiftly challenged the awarding of Rookie of the Week to Angel Reese, asserting that Reese wasn't even the best player on her own team. They highlighted her rebounding statistics, claiming that many of her rebounds resulted from her own missed shots. Angel Reese's performance over the past week saw her averaging 16.8 points, 14 rebounds, and 1.2 assists per game. Notably, she made WNBA history by becoming the first player to achieve 13 consecutive double-doubles in a single season. This remarkable feat earned her the WNBA Eastern Conference Player of the Week award, marking her as the first rookie to receive this honor this season. Despite these accomplishments, the news was met with discontent by the keen fan base of Indiana Fever rookie Caitlin Clark. The Twitter account Caitlin Clark Report quickly went viral after responding to the WNBA's announcement with a derisive LOL. The account further commented, Clark was three rebounds away from averaging a triple-double over a three-game span and beat the number one team. Hello? Other fans joined the fray, with one stating, Reese wasn't even the best player on her own team, likely referring to the impressive performances of Kennedy Carter. Another fan expressed, CC is on another level. Angel Reese isn't in the same league. Half her rebounds are from her own terrible missed shots. Clark's supporters are clearly convinced that Reese's accolade was unearned. They argue that Clark's performances, including her near triple-double average and her role in defeating the top-ranked team, were more deserving of recognition. The sentiment among Clark's fans is that her all-around play and significant contributions to her team's success were overlooked in favor of Reese's rebounding numbers. Adding to the debate, analysts have noted that while Reese's rebounding prowess is impressive, it doesn't necessarily translate to overall dominance on the court. Clark's ability to fill the stat sheet in multiple categories, coupled with her leadership on the floor, presents a strong case for her deserving the award. The controversy has sparked a broader discussion within the WNBA community about what metrics should be prioritized when awarding such honors. Should individual statistics like rebounding be weighted more heavily than all-around contributions and impact on the game? This debate reflects the diverse opinions on what constitutes excellence in basketball. Moreover, Clark's fans have pointed to her efficiency and shooting accuracy as factors that should have been considered. While Reese's rebounding numbers are high, the context of how those rebounds are obtained, often from her own missed shots, paints a different picture of her performance. Clark's supporters argue that her fewer but more efficiently obtained rebounds, along with her superior shooting and playmaking abilities, make her the more deserving candidate. The dispute over the Rookie of the Week award underscores the passion and loyalty of Caitlin Clark's fan base. Their vocal discontent highlights the subjective nature of sports awards and the differing opinions on what achievements should be celebrated. As the WNBA season progresses, the performances of both rookies will continue to be closely scrutinized by fans and analysts alike, each camp eager to see their favorite player receive the recognition they believe she deserves.